What's up everyone, we're back with another video and I'm out here chilling with Thermo right here. The storage key keeps all my stuff nice and safe for me. But today I'm gonna talk about the five reasons why you should be playing Lost Star because I'm at the end game right now. Um, end game, I'm not even 1300, which is technically when it starts, but I can't even pull up the menu because I don't know what it is. <laughs> 953 is what our item level is at. But I'm gonna go into the five things that really made me enjoy this game and things that you should be partaking in and things that will draw you into Lost Ark. So let's get straight into it. One of the first things that I really discovered about Lost Ark that's really amazing is the Chaos Gates. Chaos Gates are really nice and it brings the whole community together to fight, you know, one boss. Everyone's there for the same goal, the same objective. It drops really nice loot. You get to see everyone else all around you fighting, using their abilities. Everything is going off. And you really just feel a part of the community, you know, when you do these things. And at the very end, you actually bid on an item that you want. So basically, as you can see here, there's like a map. And this treasure map actually sells, you know, thousands of gold. You know, everyone's bidding on it. You can't really see because my camera's in a way, but they're bidding on the item, uh, you know, with their gold amount that they have on them so i believe it got up to like around 1700 that someone actually paid it for that treasure map but i believe they sell for about like 13,000 or so but the item is just really cool the whole you know encounter is really cool just seeing everyone sitting around with their abilities going off and it's just really nice the next really thing nice. we have here is the chaos dungeons chaos dungeons are so fun this is the content that you can run for hours endlessly because the best thing about this game is the combat fighting all these enemies, throwing out all those abilities and just completely wiping them is so satisfying. And you know, getting these rewards and playing with other people is just really fun and engaging. I think that the Chaos Dungeons are something that you'll definitely remember in this game. You'll definitely be running through these a lot and you won't really get bored of them either because you know, everything in the Chaos Dungeon is just destruction, destruction, destruction. And that's pretty much what the game's about. Now let's talk about the world of Lost Ark. Lost Ark has so much detail into the game. Everything is so animated to perfection. It's almost like as if, you know, you just jumped into someone else's world. It really feels like you're kind of there. Even though you're looking for such a top down view, you get really immersed when you zoom in and start realizing what's actually around you. All the different skins and the mounts and everyone just around you always animated and moving in some certain gesture. Everything just looks really nice and like up to perfection literally everything in the game is designed in super colorful ways i didn't show the most colorful you know places of this game but literally throughout the whole world with all the islands there's so much stuff and things to see in this game that you literally i don't know when i'll be done seeing everything there's so many islands i still haven't even been to yet that are below my item level that i just passed up so it's like you know there's those places in the game that you don't really get to but you know that's okay because in lost ark there are so many places to explore as you can see here i'm selling and there's so many different islands you can see all the continents on the world map but as you click and zoom in every single little square block has its own you know three to four islands that you can go to it's a whole new world to participate in this game has so many places i still haven't even seen yet i've probably only been for like you know like less than 50 percent of the areas in the game and i'm at almost thousand item level so you know this game is still more and more exciting to me as i'm going on now let's talk about pvp one of my favorite things in this game it's so competitive so structured it's very well you know thought out arena pvp everything is balanced no class overtakes anyone else everything in the game is just you know when it comes to pvp is really balanced i love it i play pvp every single day there is a rank season that should be coming out very soon within the game also and that's going to add a lot more competition i really love how it's separated from the pve i can do pvp you know when i'm you know not feeling like doing pv i don't want to travel to islands or something I want to chill out and just do some PvP. And it's super, super fun. You actually can get some rewards from it if you want to do Una's task. And it's just something that keeps you there in the end game. 
but that's pretty much it you know these things right here are gonna keep you in lost ark i love all of these things i will be playing lost ark for a while i promise you but that's gonna be it for this video if you like this video in any way go ahead hit that like button hit the comment section up hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you guys later night time make it tricky mess with me we send our boys straight there whoa straight to the back seat put them work up in that night time and it's getting tricky I put my sweat and my tears in this bitch, so I swear to God it's getting busy.